and welcome to Kelpie Figurines. Uh, today I'm making a custom of uh, the collector Clydesdale mare. I have started by uh, prepping her. I cut off some of the mane and sanded her. And also uh, I removed the text on her belly. And um, I moved to sculpting so she got um, a whole new face and then I started giving her a new mane also I touched up the feathers uh, you can see she also got a new tail and some spikes on her back um, once uh, all that was done I started to um, to paint her uh, white uh, because I didn't have any primer at the time uh, and it turned out to be a horrible idea because um, I've spent hours before um, before it was opaque and uh, at the point uh, at one point I, I've given up and uh, put her away for some time and then I finally got a primer and it was just a spray and and uh, she was all white primed and ready to be painted i really recommend buying a primer uh, so i'm moving to painting her now i started with the spikes in her fangs then i moved on to um, her mane. Oh, and you can see I've did a little bit of shading with the pastels to get um, a little blush on her body. Um, then it's just adding some details, hooves, and other colors. And after that, I have decided to cover her with some copes. I um, I'm using I don't know if it's visible here. Uh, thread and also painted paper so I'm cutting the paper uh, into um, sort of a seaweed shape and then I've glued everything onto her um, I have painted it with varnish and with some final touches she is finished So here she is, um, starting from the head, she got a new uh, face, I touched up the nostrils and I added the fangs which are not as neat as I wanted them to be but it's my second time sculpting ever and I mean sculpting with epoxy um, so I think I did quite okay um, I did make um, her eyes different uh, because I uh, made her whole uh, face bigger so the eyes uh, had to be um, uh, a little different too. Uh, I left the ears as they are though because I don't think um, I don't think they're too small or anything. Uh, the mane and the fringe obviously are uh, new and she is covered with uh, the cups that I made from paper. Uh, they are covered with uh, a few layers of glue and varnish, so they are nice and shiny. Mm. Here on the spine, she has a nice ridge of spikes. Uh, I also build up um, her muscles a little because I thought they were a little weird on the original sculpt um, here you can see she got um, new feathers and I also painted them with varnish so they look like um, they're wet like she was just walking through muddy waters uh, she also has a little green spots here and there to um, look like uh, she was living in the water, I don't know, like seaweed or something. And here you can see 
the long tail which also is made to be looking like it was a little wet uh, uh, I did spend a lot of time on her uh, a lot of trial and error honestly but I am quite satisfied so now I'll leave you to watch uh, some uh, of the pictures I took with her outside Thank you.